Good morning, Vail School, and welcome to today's live newscast. Your newscasters are Emily from Mrs. Vanetta's class. And also Matt from Mrs. Vanetta's class. Today is Monday, November 3rd, 2008. It is the day of five. Our character education thought of the day is, Citizenship means acting as positive, acting participant in your community. And now for the weather brought to you by Weatherbug. Today is expected to be a mil mostly sunny. The current temperature is 44 degrees Fahrenheit. The high is expected to be 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The low this, this evening will be 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be partly sunny. There will be no recess today. Today's lunch will be hot ham and cheese and animal crackers. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's riddle is, what does a mummy take when it has a cold? Cough and medicine. Now for the sports report. It was a good weekend for the home teams. The Giants won be after beating the and the Cowboys 35 to 14. The Eagles won after the beating the Battle of the Birds, beating the Seahawks 26 to 7. Wait. And the Jets beat the Buffalo 26 to 17. I'm sure everyone collected more candy than they can ever eat on Halloween. Please donate some of your candy to the Trenton Area Soup Kitchen. A candy donation box is located in the main office all week long. Remember to bring in your UNICEF boxes, your UNICEF collection boxes this week. Our goal is to collect more than we did la last year. Now for a word about a word about our mock president presidential election. Good morning, Mr. Hedinger. Well, good morning, Lauren. How are you? Good. Who are you voting for? Who am I voting for? That's a great question. You know, I don't think it would really be appropriate for me to tell you who I'm voting for. And the reason is, in the United States, we have a tradition of something called a secret ballot. Um, in fact, I see Miss Lacey is just finishing her vote. And let me ask her to explain a little bit more to you about it. Because our, our first president elected by secret ballot was President Grover Cleveland in 1892. Miss Lacey, can you tell Lauren a little bit more about it? Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Miss Lacey. Good morning, Mr. Hattinger. Good morning. I heard you were talking about the secret ballot. Mm -hmm. The secret ballot is a voting method that ensures that a voter's choice is kept confidential. And that way, a voter can make a decision that is a sincere and honest one. Did you know that voting is a very important right that Americans have? Some countries, people aren't even allowed to vote. Right. So when we vote, we let our community leaders know what our opinion is about the way we want things done. So tomorrow on Election Day, Americans will be voting for a leader of our country, and we'll make decisions about how our country will be governed. So if you're a U.S. <coughs> citizen and you're 18 years of, of age or older, you should vote. And when you don't vote, you don't have the right to make a change. So you have to get out there and vote. Yeah. So, so see, I shouldn't really ask Ms. Lacey who she's going to vote for any more than I should ask you or you should ask me. So anyway, we're going to be voting here in school for the next two days. So I'm going to take my turn and vote. And why don't you tell the students at Village School something about voting? OK, Village School, come on. You know what to do. Vote today and tomorrow. And make a difference. This the is voting booths off. will be open all day today and tomorrow. Stop by any time to vote. Remember to pick up a sticker after you cast your vote. The results will be given at dismissal on Tuesday. To vote, simply click on the candidate and then click cast your vote. It is that simple. This is Matt signing off. And Emily signing off. Be sure to join us tomorrow for another edition of VS News. Have a marvelous Monday.